Hmm. Powerful, sweet, musky, punji, jammy. Mm, you get this beautiful sweet rose. This is the rose musk. It has even gold inside. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, let me just add a little bit. Wow. You have a very smooth Tibetan musk in it. You have the Indy Rose and a wonderful and very unique rose as well from Saudi Arabia, the Taifi Rose, the Midnight Queen, Jasmine, the Gardena. Man, this is beautiful. It's uh, soft, it's a huge projection. Wow. And you kind of get that frank incense um, citrusy through. It's like the, the sweetness as well of the of of this cane sugar. You have some, you know, this brown cane sugar sweetness. You have some of this, but as well the a type of of citrusy that comes, or that's what I identify. That is from from the frank incense, and. This light, very light, metallic, eucalyptic notes that kind of layers there, you know, in the background. And while it progresses, you know, it gets, of course, softer, you know, but the beautiful thing, you know, with this oil is that while it progresses and gets softer, at the other hand, you know, you have this increasing musky notes. So um, this is what amazes me really on, on this rose musk composition that it, it progresses and gets softer, you know, in its floral rosy ways um, and as well, and, you know, you have that kind of this pungy, jammy, you know, gardenia, jasmine into it and while it progresses and, and becomes softer um, and, and, you know, just beautiful, it increases in this musky, sweet, layers but in this very soft musk you know very soft musk but you you can catch that um, that animal note and um, if this would be a picture I would say you see a field of roses you see um, some trees you see some jasmine there you see um, you see the florals and the trees and Guess who's running through? A deer musk. And this oil, when you enjoy it, you know, throughout the day, from the morning, midday, night, you know, it just goes through, becomes softer, and at the end of the day, um, it remains like a sweet, spicy, you know, musky layer on your skin, and, and that's basically how it fades away and ends. Um, so it's very beautiful. I can, you know, use it in the morning and even you know like 10 12 hours after you get this beautiful whiffs you know that come through you know during the day and um, thank you for this uh, beautiful piece of art It opens fresh, minty, eucalyptic notes, mentholic, very beautiful. Let me just dab a little bit. Mm. You have that kind of green hojari citrusy in it. Mm, it's uh, it's powerful. It's resinous. Has this kind of dark aroma to it. Wow. This is the Oud Rose Musk Oil by the Perfumist. 
has the oud, the rose, um, it's the Tonkin musk in it, it's a Malaysian oud, um, the Indian rose, wow. Wow, definitely a masterpiece. Wow, you have this hints of, of dried spices. The kind of desert dry, you know, like a saffron. It's more, more, more dry. It's coming more mild. Sweetness. Uh, the sweetness, I could say, it's the sweetness that you get from burning the lubani, you know, from burning the, the frankincense, but not, not the green one, but the yellowish one, the one that is more, more sweet. This, this lubani frankincense, uh, incense. But from the aroma on the opening, you get more the citrusy part of the green hojari. You have um, dry, you know, dried fruits. That's what I get. I get fig. I get um, dates. The background, even some pomelo. Wow. This is actually because it's a oud rose and musk composition. Um, you know, it comes with three bottles and this one, the mid one, is, is my, my favorite, wow. You have, you know, this, this hints of eucalyptus, um, the dried leaves, um, the old books even in it, you know, like crazy. Um, it's it's kind of light as well, or dipped into, into some honey, that's like what I get, and um, after, 10 minutes you have this kind of golden color to it um, that changes then to to the green and then back to black not back to black but you know you kind of had this first touch of, of resin stock aroma becomes black and then I kind of picture the gold and, and the red color again wow mmm the spiciness that's amazing let me check on skin it's amazing it's so amazing you get the clove you get the nutmeg yeah it lays on your skin like like gold and wood you have this golden wooden skin like cover with hints um, of some delicate caramel I would say now it turns more into into the color red, you know, in my head, um, then turning turning green with huge doses of of this green hojari. I don't know where this comes from, but this is amazing. There's delicate hints of 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 some leather and and this mm, combined with with dry grass you know the grass that the cows eaten the dried one yellowish one amazing and after two hours you kind of get this delicate hints of I don't know why, where this come from but you get this delicate hints of, of sour ripe cherry with um, some spices and this composition is as I mentioned you know one one of my favorite ones, you know, in my collection, but as well, the favorite one um, of the three that comes with the rose, you know, then this one with the oud rose mask, and and the just alone, just oud. Um, wow, this is so beautiful, and it, it just goes on and on and on, and you you will see every 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. You see a change and you kind of get into into different layers and, and you kind of able to smell um, so much beauty in this. Um, congrats. Amazing. Um, I love it. Thank you. So here we have the three beauties Oud Rose Mask, the three bottles, the Rose Mask, the Oud Rose Mask and the Just Oud. So today we are going to have a look at the Just Oud. Wonderful. Let's look at the color. 
very dark resinous beautiful oil and this is actually Malaysian, Indian and Cambodian wood if you look at the color lovely wow it, it opens mm. wow that that who what's this this opens like an old book with figs and honey wow it's very rich mm. very rich complex you have apricot in it wow let me just dab it mm. Yeah, wonderful. As you see, I've tested it throughout, <laughs> throughout a lot of occasions, and that's why I right now can give you my my personal view on it. And wow, as I said, it opens very, very rich, complex, like an old bull with figs, honey, apricot. It is smoky. It is incensey. Oh my goodness! It has this apricot and fig sweetness? It's like leather, leathery notes. Uh, it, it's kind of it's dipped into dark chocolate with um, some caramel. Wow, wow, definitely amazing oil. As I said, it has this this dark chocolate caramel notes uh, dipped into leather. Old books. I mean, like I get all the time this old books, like as if you would open a book and. There is some dried figs in it, some leather, some honey, some some apricot laced in, in, in this dark chocolate and, and all above that is smoking, smoking, a smoking fog, you know, like foggy smoke upon the book, you know. You have this incense, but it's definitely a sweet, uh, sweet wood, um, very rich, complex and deep. Um, powerful, very powerful, and and amazing. Um, wow, one of my my favorite woods. You know, actually, I I love woods. You know, single woods. You know, talking about single countries. You know, just the wood from India or only the wood from Malaysia. But this is an wood composition which has yeah the Malaysian, the Indian, and the Cambodian in this bottle and. Wow, to understand this, um, I will need even some more time, but this is now after around a month what I can um, give to you. Um, wow, thank you.